The story of the Starfleet crew taking on a murderous alien force disappointed critics and Trekkies alike. But the movie did at least retain key themes from the TV series, including science that was believable. The movie's alien being has its roots in reality. The NASA space probe Voyager is sent out and lost in the 1970s, only to re-emerge three centuries later, having developed artificial intelligence and the capability to create lifelike androids. This is a mechanism. At the time, replicating humans was the stuff of pure science fiction. But today, scientists are on the verge of making this a reality. I was a big Star Trek fan growing up, and what inspired me the most about uh, Star Trek was the fact that you would see all these technologies that were totally science fiction, which of course today are a reality. Dr. Anthony Atala, an expert in tissue engineering, is a lifelong Trekkie. His groundbreaking work, which involves using printers to produce 3D human body parts, could have come straight out of a Roddenberry script. This is one of our printers that uh, we've designed. And what you see here is this print head on the top, very much like a regular uh, desktop inkjet printer that you would have at your home, really. But instead of using uh, ink, we're basically using cells. Using x-rays and scans, Dr. Atala builds a computer 3D reconstruction of a body part one layer at a time. Each layer is then physically printed using a mixture of a patient's own cells and biomaterial gel. This creates a 3D structure exactly like the organ it is replacing. Here you see some of these ear structures that were printed. And you can see here that, in fact, they're built so that they have the same resiliency and elasticity as you would find in a normal ear. In a way, Star Trek predicted what we're doing today. I remember just 25 years ago, the concept of just growing a human cell was science fiction. And here we are today, not just growing human cells, but also printing tissues and organs. So 300 years from now, printing a body, or certainly major parts of the body, may be possible. We may even be looking at things beyond that.